Hey, how's it going, guys, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be doing another top 5 video because you guys really do enjoy this. And the last top 5 video that I did is now up to like 55k views, which is just insane. So, thank you so much for that. So, this is why I'm going to be doing another one. So, I really hope you do enjoy the video. And before we do get into it, I would just like to give a quick mention to the 100 modded account giveaway that Razor Games is hosting. There's only a few days left on it now, so if you haven't already entered, definitely go down in the description of this video click on that gleam link and then enter all the steps and you will be in with a good chance of winning yourself a modded account so with that being said guys let's just get straight into the video so the first glitch I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a wall breach. Now in order to do this wall breach you're going to make your way over to this location which is at the pier. You need to bring a suitable heighted vehicle like the insurgent. Now once you've got your insurgent you're going to park it against this wall here of the pier and you're going to climb on top and then you should jump on top of these kind of little generators and then you should wall breach yourself into the pier. Now this is a pretty decent wall breach to do because you can see all around you. Now you can't really shoot out of it, there are only like little certain places that you can't actually shoot out of it so it isn't really a god mode wall breach but it is definitely in a cool location and I definitely thought it was worth showing to you guys. Now for this next glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can actually drive a vehicle that's already actually been exploded. So again, this is a really cool glitch to show off to your friends and have some fun with. So the first thing you need to do is actually get your friend to become a VIP and they're going to invite you as their bodyguard. You also need to make sure that their VIP settings are actually set to friendly fire so they don't end up killing you. Now once you've done this, you need to find a vehicle that is untouched, hasn't been driven or broken into. So you can't use your personal vehicle, you're just going to have to use one from the street. So once you have found a suitable vehicle, you're going to ask your friend who is the VIP to put a sticky bomb on it. Now you are going to get inside of the vehicle and as soon as you are about to sit down in the seat, you're going to ask your friend to blow up the sticky bomb. Now what should happen is that the car should explode but you should be still inside of it and what should happen is that you should still be able to drive the vehicle. Now this glitch doesn't last forever but it is definitely a really fun glitch to do and show up to your friends. So really hope you do like it and let's get into the next glitch. Next, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool launch glitch to do. Now, what you will need for this is a barracks. Now, if you don't know where to get one, or if you don't have enough money to buy one, you can get one from the Richard's Majestic Studio, and it should be parked at a parking lot there. So once you have obtained yourself one of those, you're going to bring it to this location on the map, and you're going to park it against this wall. Make sure that the front is fully against the wall. And what you need to do now is climb on top of the hood of the barracks and then on top of the roof and what should happen is that you should be launched into the air. Now this really isn't the best launch glitch to do if you do like launch glitches that really launch you really high into the air but it is still a cool glitch to do if you are bored with your friends. But let's move on to the next one. So for this next glitch I'm going to be showing you how you can be in complete god mode in any online session. So the first thing you need to do for this glitch is go into your 10 car garage and go up to the TV. Now once you are standing at the TV, you're going to go to the cartoon channel. Now once you are at the cartoon channel, you're going to go one to the left and this should bring you to the Weasel News channel where you should be spectating your friend. Now once you are on this channel, you're then going to go back to the cartoon channel and then just quit out of the TV. So now you're going to pull up your phone, go to quick job, play random and alone. And what should happen now is that you should have a timer at the bottom right hand of your screen saying looking for a job. Now as soon as you see the name of a job appear, what you're going to do is press right on the d-pad to look back at the TV. Now what should happen is that it should take you to that job, but you still should be able to see the TV options at the bottom. And now you're just going to go one to the left again and this should put you back to the Weasel News channel. Now you should be spectating your friend again, now what you need to do is just back out and you should be put back into your garage and you will notice that you will have no minimap. And from here it's just a case of getting into one of your vehicles, going to any mission circle on the map and just pressing right on the d-pad and then you should be in complete god mode. Now this glitch doesn't last forever, sometimes it lasts for 2 minutes while sometimes it may last for 10, but it is still a really cool glitch to do but let's move on to the final glitch. So for this final glitch, I'm going to be showing you how you can transfer any logo from any t-shirt to any of your 10 saved outfits. So what you need to do first is choose a t-shirt that you like the logo or the design of and you're going to put that t-shirt on. Now what you're going to do is go to start online jobs, play job versus and you're going to start with the job known as crooked cop. 
Now once you are in that job lobby, you're going to have to ask a friend to join you as you will need two people to start it up. But make sure that you do set the outfits to player owned. Then as soon as you start the glitch up, you then will be able to choose which outfit you want to wear during the mission. Now once you are swapping between the outfits, you should notice that the logo from the t-shirt that you were wearing should transfer to any of the 10 outfits that you choose. So I'm going to be choosing the cop outfit, so make sure that you are wearing it. And once the job starts up, you're going to immediately pull up your interaction menu, go to inventory accessories, and you're going to spam on the auto show bike helmet option. Now spam it for around about 10 seconds, but make sure it does land on on. You can also do this with the auto show aircraft helmet as well. But once you've done that and they are both on on, you can then go and press start and go to find new session. And once you get into that new session, you should notice that you should have the outfit with the logo transferred to it. So yeah, this is a pretty new clothing glitch, so I really hope you do like that as well. And that is the end of this top 5 video guys, so I really hope you did enjoy it and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to drop a like on the video and also subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy GTA content like this. Also, like I said at the start of the video, make sure to check out the 100 modded account giveaway that is linked in the description, as well as some of my friends that did help me out for today's video. But with that being said guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.